Hello, welcome back to part 15 of this video tutorial how to build a Pac-Man game in XNA. Please don't forget to buy the content. Send 2 euro 95 to PayPal account XNA Pac-Man 2013 at hotmail.com. We send the content in 24 hours to your email address. In this tutorial we're gonna finish our cursor class, we're gonna implement it in our map builder game class and we're gonna start building our tile strip. So, in our previous tutorial we have uh, defined our HUD font, which we're going to use now in our draw method. And before we're going to do that, go to your game class of your map builder and go to your public where we have defined our sprite font. And let's make him static. So, just like this. And now we're going to use it in our cursor class. So, gonna draw the world coordinates on the screen. Draw the world coordinates on the screen and we're gonna do that with the sprite bed dot draw string. And now we're gonna use our cane one hut font and we're gonna say here that we wanna see the world x all right plus position dot x minus game one tile size and we need to convert it to a string so let's do that this way and of course we want to see the I coordinates so I oh, plus position dot I right and now we need to set the factor for the position and we're gonna place it on one six zero five five zero and the color is white color white so all right now we have finished our draw method of the cursor class we're going to implement the cursor in our game class for our map builder so and the first thing we need to do is define our cursor so let's do that just here and it's a private cursor and we call it cursor and that's the cursor object right and now we have defined we need to create a new cursor so let's do that in the initialize method and we're going to create just after the crit the new cursor so create a new cursor and you're gonna say here that cursor is a new cursor and we need to set the position and we're gonna do that on a factor to dot zero and the color is color dot red so we need a red color for the cursor and the scale is 1.5 right and now we have created the cursor we need to load the content for the cursor so go to the load content method and we're gonna say here that we want to load the contents for the cursor Right, so cursor load content. Right, then now we have load the content for the cursor. We need to update the cursor, so go to the update. And after the grid update, we're gonna say update the cursor. So cursor updates and we pass the game time 
right? And after we have updates, we need to draw the cursor. So let's do that here. Draw the cursor on the screen. So we can say here cursor dot draw, and we need to pass the sprite path. So, all right, and let's see how this works. And look, there we have the red cursor on the screen. And look how it snaps to the grid if you move the cursor from one tile to another tile. Right? So press the escape button to quit. And now we're going to start build the tile strip. So go to projects, add new class. And we call it the tile strip dot cs. And the first thing we're going to do is copy the using block from the object class. And we need another using statement. And that's the Microsoft XNA framework input. And the first thing we're going to do here is define some private variable. And we need uh, our current and previous keyboard states, so we can copy that from the game class. And let's do that. Because they are exactly the same. So, And now we need a texture, so private texture 2D. And we call it the selector. represents the tile selector on the screen. Right? And we need a source and a destination rectangle, so private rectangle. Oh. A rectangle and we call it the source rect. Right? Represents the source rectangle. Okay. And we need another rectangle for the destination. So test. Correct. All right, and we say represents the destination rectangle. Okay. That are the private variable. And we have some public variable, so let's create it also. And the first one it's a public int, and we call it the selected, and it's default zero. And this indicates the selected item where zero is the first one. Right. And we need another one. And that's also a public int and we call it the tile counts. And let's make it a capital letter here. Tile counts. Right. Default zero. The amount of tiles in the tile strip. Right? And that are the public variable. So public variables. And 
And now we need another variable, but we're going to define it in the game class. So go to the game class, and it's a public one, and it's a texture. So it's a public static texture 2D, and we call it the tile strip texture. All right. And represents all the tiles in a strip. And later you see why we define it here. All right, now we can go back to our tile strip class and gonna start build the loads content methods. And that's a public void loads content. And we need here the content manager. And the first thing we're going to load is load the tile strip texture. And of course, it's defined in game one. So, game one tile strip texture is contents dot loads, and we're gonna load a texture two D. Right, and now we need to set the texture in our directory. So, if you have by the content go to your content directory and go to the sprites directory and the one we need is our tile strip white and we need the selector so let's copy these two files copy and we're gonna paste it in our map builder content directory in our sprites folder so we're gonna paste it here just like this right and now we're going to say here, right, and it's the tile strip white. So tile strip white. Right. And now we can load the selector texture. So load the selector texture. And that's the, the selector is contents dot loads and we're gonna load a texture to the and it's in the sprites directory and it's called selector all right and now we need to calculate the amount of tiles all right so the tile count is equals to game one tile strip texture dot width and we're gonna divide it by our game one dot tile size. Alright. Load the content for the tile strip. Right? Alright, I'm gonna finish the tutorial here and in the next tutorial we're gonna finish our tile strip and implement it in our game class of our map builder. So I hope you enjoy and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.